Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So while I still have the wok in my possession, I thought it would be a great opportunity to do a quick comparison for you. And I also got a few questions from you. You wanted to know if sunglasses would fit in this. And so we'll go over that. Similar size from the front profile. The rectangular mini is maybe only longer by a smidge, but very, very, very similar. Maybe the biggest difference is the depth of the bag right here versus right here. So we already know how much stuff is in a rectangular mini if it's a ton and it fits almost just as much as a small classic flap. I would say the small classic flap for me still fits a slightly more but only by very very little so the rectangular mini is awesome and in fact if you own the top handle version of the rectangular mini which i do have one as well they pretty much are the same this one has a longer chain and a thicker chain this one the one with the top handle has a slightly shorter chain and it's also a more dainty chain in fact the chain on this one is the same chain as on the wok. If I were to put them side by side, they are exactly the same size chain. The wok, however, has the longest chain. This is the strap drop for the classic wok, classic Chanel wok versus the mini rectangle. Obviously, these are seasonal, mine is from 2018. So the strap length does vary from season to season, but generally speaking, it is on the longer side anyway. And with the classic walk, uh, they are generally quite long. So if you're considering these two bags and if the length of the strap is gonna make a huge difference for you, this is what uh, it looks like on me. And the rectangular mini is already known to be having a longer strap. So for someone that is shorter than me, I am 5'4", 163 centimeter then it will sit lower than your hip level. So my hip bone is like right here. So it's just slightly lower than my hip bone, which is totally acceptable for my height. I also do own the top handle rectangle. The top handle version does have a slightly shorter strap on mine. This is how it looks like with the top handle version. Also the top handle mini does have a slimmer strap compared to the classic rectangle mini. This strap is more similar to the strap on the walk. So yes, as you can see, the classic walk being the longest, and then the rectangular mini, and then this is the top handle mini. I definitely see the appeal on the classic walk because it's very thin, it's close to the body, and you can fit quite a bit in this walk versus the classic rectangle mini. They're great, they are a cult favorite, but they are very hard to get and they are seasonal and they are a bit more bulky. I can see why people do prefer the walk or a lot of people do opt for the walk even though the chain is quite long. Now, one of the questions that I had about this bag is whether it will fit sunglasses, and especially when it comes to the Hermes wallets on chains or Hermes to go wallets. So I do have my iPhone 13 mini and let's now put our sunglasses right beside it and it fits absolutely no problem. These ones are slightly bulkier from this way. So we'll just try that and voila, they do fit. They're black, so you can't really see them. Um, but yeah, depending on your comfort level, whether you're willing to squish it a little bit, now, um, these are not super expensive sunglasses. I'm okay with that, but it just really also depends on the size and the bulkiness of your sunglasses. So now let's try it on the Hermes wallet on chain or the Hermes to go wallet to be quite precise. They're kind of on top of the phone, but also beside them so that the bulkiness is mostly on top because as we all know, the bulkiest part of the to go wallets is on top. So this way you do and you can fit your sunglasses in it. Now, let's not forget that the back pocket is completely empty right now, so maybe we should fill it up. It's a little bit more filled now. I just quickly put my entire card holder in there and also my car keys. So it pretty much takes up uh, the bulk of the back pocket 
And then again in front I have my iPhone 13 mini and my sunglasses kind of sitting on top a little bit. Unfortunately, I'm not comfortable with closing it because it'll just squish the sunglasses and we don't want any broken sunglasses in this case. Let's just try maybe these glasses. These are my Chanel glasses, which are very tiny. They look like reading glasses. So let's try these maybe. But I have a feeling it won't work only because it's quite bulky now with everything uh, that is on the other compartment as well. But maybe we'll see since it's slightly thinner. Okay, there is hope. So yeah. It does close with my Chanel glasses, um, but as you saw me, um, it wasn't the easiest closing, but it's definitely possible. It depends on how you configure the items and also it, it depends on the hardness and bulkiness of your item. So right now I have just the sunglasses on top. So even these ones fit. Uh, but because the tissue paper is kind of squishy, it's actually working in my favor. And I still do have my car keys, but I had to put it all the way down so that it's not taking up space on top. So as long as you're able to arrange your things so that there's enough space right at the top where the bulkiest part of the wallet is and you're able to fit your sunglasses that way, then it will fit. And again, also in the front, I have my phone and then I just put random four cards there. So for the person who asked about whether sunglasses will fit in all of these walks, they do. They do fit. It really just depends on your other content. Because you have to make space for the sunglasses, you'll have to take out some of your other things. So the other things that I had before was a full-size lipstick. I also had uh, loose keys and I had more cards. But you know, it still can fit. It just, you just have to make sure that you have enough room on top. And of course your glasses cannot be too, too bulky. There is another question regarding the length of the Chanel walk and whether I can try to put the clip on to adjust the height to a more normal height for someone that is on the shorter side, put the clip on. Um, again, this is a clip that you can probably find on Amazon or sometimes your Chanel store might have and able to give you one. Especially in Asia, I think this is super common because a lot of people in Asia are a little bit shorter. So they do very commonly give out these clips when you buy a bag with them. You would have to also just pull it all the way and try to hide the part of the chain that's being adjust it. It does tuck nicely on the side, but again, with anything extra, it will take up some of the space from your wallet on chain. And if you're like me, I'm a bit OCD about just leaving the way the design is intended to be. But now it does look more like a proper, uh, proper bag that fits the proper way. Um, obviously, make it a bit longer if you're shorter. Now the issue is, and that is what I mean by my OCD, <laughs> is that as I'm just taking it out, it does move, right? So um, the reason is because these chains, they do move around the bag. So once in a while they will come off. And that's something that you have to keep in mind that you'll have to constantly adjust and put it back inside just because it is the nature of this Thing here this loop here that does move around and you just have to keep doing it every time it moves the main reason why I didn't buy this bag is because the chain is way too long even if I were to adjust it I know I will get kind of annoyed at the fact that it does move around I never bought a walk before because of that very reason because it's quite long and I also just didn't see the value when compared to a mini square. But now that we're in 2023 and I really do see the value of the thinness of a bag in terms of just how light it carries and also just how easy it travels, I do see the value in owning a walk again, especially with our phones 
constantly changing size because you know for a while they were small and then they were big and then they were really big and now they're back to small and people want flip phones now so I think because our technology is constantly changing and our lifestyles is constantly changing you know with the limited availability of classic rectangular minis a walk just does make sense in terms of value the pricing and as long as you're able to put up with the chain length the last question that i had if i would prefer a mini kelly over the walk if the pre-spend didn't come into the picture she was asking between these two kind of options so any sort of to-go wallet from almez or walk uh, versus a mini kelly if i would prefer this over this um i'd say generally yes i do prefer the mini kelly but of course the mini kelly even if you have a shopping history it's still incredibly hard to get because um it just depends on what kind of shopping history you have it is at the end of the day still more of a bag versus whereas this is more of a wallet so depending really on the shape of your items this can still be quite limiting for myself i can still fit more on the Ke mini kelly myself just because i think it's really the size of my phone my my phone is um again the 13 mini so it's really helpful in f for me to organize into tetris things in there therefore i can actually fit more in the mini kelly obviously with the mini kelly i don't close the clasp when i'm using it whereas on the constants to go i have to close it up otherwise it'll just everything will just fall off so that is sort of the nuance there i myself can fit more in this although i don't close it but this is pretty good like it's pretty reasonably um spacious and enough so that i feel like i'm not really losing on practicality and functionality they're both extremely functional for me with this one i think if i were to close and open it constantly i would probably hate it which is why i don't close it when i'm actually using this bag but especially when pre-spend or the markup on the secondhand market is involved it's really hard for me to choose this one because it's just unreasonably expensive if it wasn't the case if there was no pre-spend in place and i can just basically buy these at the retail price that they are i'm definitely choosing the mini kelly over and over and over and over again but it is not the reality the reality is that in most cases that i know you have to have a, a quite a significant shopping history with your store in order to get something like a mini kelly if you're looking to see a comprehensive review between the walk and the elmes to go wallets then you can watch the one video right here uh, otherwise i have a bunch of other chanel videos or elmes videos also right here and i'll talk to you guys in the next one bye